Okay, I think one of the most destructive phrases ever invented about the golf swing is to tell someone to hit down on the ball. So right after this, I'm going to show you why saying hitting down or thinking hit down on the ball is so destructive for your swing. And let's replace it with an alternative that may help you hit the ball a lot better. So stay tuned. Hey, thanks for clicking on my channel. I hope I earn a like and subscribe. Okay, so here's the problem with telling someone to hit down on the ball. Of course, this is mostly going to apply to somebody who is an average golfer, a beginning golfer, even sometimes it could be someone as down as low as like a nine handicap. That covers most of us out there. And hitting down on the ball has a tendency to do a, cause us to do a few things perceptually. What it causes us to do is it tells, it tells us to hit gougingly, a little too steeply down at the ball. And it can also cause us to make use with only the arms pulling down into the ball. So when you tell someone to hit down on the ball, or that they're not hitting down on the ball, they can tend to just pull down to the ground with their arms, kind of like chop it like it's a fireplace log, and instead not use the shifting and turning of the body like it's supposed to. So you end up with swings with all kinds of other problems because simply the person has been coached to hit down on the ball. Instead, I'll offer you an alternative to this that I think will work for a lot of people out there much better. That is to hit up on the ball. Now hear me out. I'm not going to hit up on the ball right here. I'm going to feel like I'm hitting up out here somewhere. So if I were to turn and I'm going to swoosh upwards just like that. Now you say, well, Steve, I can't hit up on the ball. I'll top it every time or I'll hit the ground behind it every time. Well, that's where you've got to get this perception or this idea of hitting down and just throw it. You, you got to clear the golf attic, <laughs> attic of all the garbage in it and start fresh where stop thinking about hitting down on the ball and start thinking about instead reaching your low point in front of the ball. Now, well, technically, you will strike very gradually, very gently, only three or four degrees on a seven iron downwards. That will not be your focus. Your focus instead would be to turn and swoosh upwards out here in front of the ball and a little bit around the curve to the left, say over here somewhere. Now, what this is going to help you do is move your low point ahead of the ball. And so as you're trying to swing up over here, your club is still going to be very gently at the end of its descent back here, but then it's going to start bottoming out in front of the ball so that you can make a clean strike with a good divot and get lots of compression. So this is the reason maybe why you're still, all, after all these years and all these YouTube videos you've been watching, that you, yeah, I'm hitting down on the ball. Why am I still hitting it fat? Because you're bottoming out. Your low point is simply behind the ball because no matter how much you try to hit down on the ball, if you are not moving the weight to the left and the torso turning around the corner, you're simply never going to get your low point to skip or leapfrog in front of the ball where it belongs. But the feeling will not be hitting down for a lot of you. The feeling is going to be turning and swinging up to the sky. What this is also going to do for you is help shift the weight and establish the secondary tilt of the spine. It's the only way you could, could swoosh upwards on it like that is to get the right tilt to the spine. So you'll have your head back behind the ball, you'll have your weight on the left foot, and you'll start to look exactly like what a PGA Tour player might look like. All right, let's take a look at one where I'm going to be attempting to hit up on it out here somewhere. So I'm not going to concentrate down here anywhere, but instead 
try to whip the club upwards and around to the left. Here we go. Now, coming up here on the screen, here's the stats. You can see that I hit down on this ball about four and a half degrees, but never at any time did I have any inclination to actually hit down, but instead, I was simply trying to turn and throw the club upwards and around to the left, focusing instead after impact, instead of what I was gonna do down into the ground. I wasn't really focusing on the ground at all. So if you've had issues hitting the ball fat, chunking it, hitting behind the ball, and a lot of other ideas that you've tried from other teachers, like trying to hold your wrist longer, stuff like that, simply haven't worked for you, try my idea of instead hitting up on the ball, and I'll bet you start hitting it clean fairly quickly. And as usual, leave any questions and comments down below. I'd love to help you if I can. Hey, thanks again for watching, I'm Steve. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.